the Great Commission. So in explaining this command, I would first draw from uh, Matthew 28 verses 18 to 20. So I kind of imagine this at the end of an epic film where the main character, as he says his uh, final words, they hold great value and, and hold such weight and meaning. So Jesus having been resurrected, he comes to his disciples and says, all authority has been given to me in heaven and in earth. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the end of the very age. So as we see in verse 19, the word therefore, you could, you could say is a linking word. So without the authority that God has been given, his, um, his, his power that he bestows unto us enables us to go and proclaim the gospel. So we understand that the Great Commission depends solely on the authority of Christ. So I would break this down into, uh, let's say, three Ps. So God uh, in Christ gives us his power, purpose, and presence. The next word we see is go. So obviously we are going with the gospel. So as we go, we can go to um, any place that God calls us in whatever context. So that could look like for some people who are called to cross-cultural missionary, to be cross-cultural missionaries. And that's not necessarily to say that every believer is called to be a cross-cultural missionary. However, we are all missionaries. However, our mission fields look different. So for some, it could be in a local context, living out our day-to-day -day lives with the gospel. And for others, that could mean uh, across the world in other, in other countries. All things, obviously, God calls us to go, nonetheless. Um, in making disciples, the, the word disciple we understand means student. So as a, a believer comes to the trusting faith in Christ, they become a student, a disciple. So therefore they are then led to, to grow in, um, in the knowledge of God and in the gospel. So I think it's important to remember that for the Great Commission, as we go and we teach people um, to obey everything that God has commanded us, that then looks like baptism. So as a gift of baptism, we understand that um, in this, in this uh, outward work of us receiving Christ, inward work, sorry, uh, the outward display of that is of course baptism. So by obeying this, we see not only what Christ is doing uh, in us, but also externally as well as we go with the Great Commission. And finally, Christ says to us, he assures us, I am with you always, so that to the end of the very age. So I think we're reminded here that although this command can seem somewhat uh, intimidating, we have to be assured that as Christ's spirit is in us, as we have the Holy Spirit, he is in, in the midst of, of his command and he most certainly wants everyone to come to saving faith. So we have to rest in the assurance that as we go with the gospel in whatever context, that Christ dwells in us. Emmanuel. So we understand that we most certainly need to depend on him to go with this command and that he dwells in us as we do it. So I'll, I'll finally finish with uh, 1 Peter 2 9, that we as Christians are to proclaim the excellence of Christ.